I'm Roy Stone. This is the day in my life. So we're in here, and the other half of the team is like literally down a level opposite. Right now, it's just kind of get up. We kind of had a time that we will all try to get up by, but we'll just kind of just wake up when we wake up. Uh, make some breakfast, uh, maybe zone out for a little bit, muck around the phones, like catch up with some stuff back home with the time difference or some stuff up overnight, you know, see what's going on with family and friends, and then um, pretty much get ready and head out to the to the gym. First stop is pretty much always Buffalo Brew for some coffee, and then start the day. That's Christy's room, gets the room to herself, because you know, she's a lady. Right. There's the bathroom. No, I, we got here first, so I just chuck under the big bed, and then uh, this is this is Swanny's bedroom. It's awesome. I offered him uh, <laughs> a swap every now and then, but he's like, no, he's sweet. He's a firefighter. He said it's very similar to, to their bunks back home in the, in the station, so. It's good. It's like blackout black in there, so you can just get a good night's sleep. Well, yeah. apparently, the, this is the figure I've been told, is it takes one day per um, time zone you cross. So it'll take like 15 days, apparently, to get 100%, which is perfect. That's what we plan for. But probably like the third day that I get here normally is when I start to feel like better for training and stuff. You feel a little bit less... Um, you feel like you're on the sleep schedule, I think, after a couple of days. So we got in Friday night. Um, Saturday was, Saturday you're kind of in a weird like travel high, I feel like. First day you like catch up with everyone. Sunday was a bit, was a bit gross. And then Monday we trained properly and we felt okay, but you just don't feel as fit as you normally feel. Yeah. And then yesterday and, and um, Tuesday was like kind of back to normal. So we should have hit it hard today. Um, we've got a big, like a really big training weekend plan with um, Independence. And so um, it'll be a good test and just a good kick up the butt. Just yeah. smash it hard and then maintain that rage for, for next week and then we're there. There's the sleep schedule stuff, which if you screw it up, you're, you're in trouble because you can wake up at 2 a.m. But you just like physically feel like so unfit, so like just not yourself. And then um, on top of that, it's, it's I mean, this is not that much hotter than, than summer back home, but we're coming from winter. So it's a pretty rude shock on the body, the, the heat difference too. You've just gone from being cold to now like really hot, really humid. So um, there's a lot, a lot of things come at you at once, but that's kind of the idea of getting here early is to get yeah. used to all that and go to the games and you can feel normal. You need to pack your lunch or do you guys come back for lunch? Uh, we pack snacks and we'll probably come back for lunch. Pull over and ask some honky for directions. Some honky. <laughs> Here's a fun fact, Ben, I don't, I don't know if you know this, but in Australia, just like England, we drive on the left side of the road. Once you, once you get driving a bit, it's all the same, obviously, and you just follow the road. But it's little things like, oh, every now and then this hand, this left hand will go to switch the gears. There's no gear stick there, or I'll look out this window looking for this, this mirror. Similar. When you get to like a four-way intersection and it's like real busy, you kind of like have a little moment of like, am I going to turn to the, to the right street right now? <laughs> I'm going to go down the wrong way of the road somewhere. There is like a big country, like a lot of Australia is obviously considered country towns outside the main cities, so it's pretty big out there. But it's funny because we were joking about this with someone at my gym, like in the city, like when I play country music at the gym, everyone like, everyone complains, oh, country music. But then like when Luke Combs comes to Australia, his concerts are like back to back sold out everywhere, like for nights in a row. So it's like everyone hates country music, where all these freaking fans coming from that are booking out his concert, right. can't even get a ticket. So obviously it is a pretty big country following in Australia. But yeah, Christy's actually from like a, what would be considered a country town. Mackay is probably a little bit bigger than Cookville. Yeah. So one is from a, not, he's from right near Brisbane, but it's like, it's a separate town it's out borderline. west. It's borderline. It's pushing on country town, isn't it? A little bit, or it used to be. It's more, it's a lot more populated and developed now, but. Barney and Bailey are from New Zealand, which isn't a real country at all, actually. <laughs> it's, um, and then, for real though, there's actually a bunch of like, there's this, th this thing, I remember an ad for it in like movie theaters a while ago, and they had like one of these like famous like Kiwi actors, Reese Darby, was like the face of this campaign. 
that it was a joke, but it was for real. All these different atlases and maps and stuff were like not putting New Zealand on the map. They'd like show a map and it just didn't have New Zealand. That's like, where's New Zealand gone? And so they did this whole like tourism campaign for New Zealand that like, yes, we exist. Like our country is here. <laughs> Today for you guys. Surely not gonna do a 5k. Swimming. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not saying not doing the 5k. No. I think the team run is like the rope. Yeah. Like everybody holds the rope probably. Yeah. I believe it's that's or what, what could be nice is you all run by yourself and it's yeah. a total time of each member. That'd yeah, be, I mean the, nice. the easy way to do it would be like the rope. It's just like clean up across it. But the but the more accurate way would be like bibs, like a triathlon. Everyone gets a bib and then you just, oh, our times are recorded yeah. separately and totaled. What's your uh, Buffalo Brew order? Just get a latte. Okay. Yeah, well, actually, we, one of two things. We get either just the normal latte or often we get an Americano and leave a little bit of space for half and half. There's no, or half and half. There's no, uh, there's no half and half back home. We have like cream, like normal, like thickened cream. Yeah. Nah, nah. Look at this, Ben, this is Marnie's. Coffee order. A flat white, that's very Aussie by the way, with a half of a shot. Look at her. Look at that guilty face. It's just milk, it's hot milk. I might drip it by accident, Marty. What do you reckon? Not my milk! <laughs> Posted Sam Dance's like record breaking deadlift, whatever. We were like, oh, one RM deadlift, and like me, Swanee, and Christy are all excited for that. And Marnie's like, <laughs> 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 things have changed. What's oh. changed? Uh, so it's ra raining outside pretty heavily. Uh, we had a run, like a ruck rope climb workout plan. We decided that we'll wait till it, give it till this afternoon for that workout because it, it, it might clear up and then we can get outside. Running on the runner doesn't really make much sense when they've announced the 5k for us. But also climbing a rope with wet shoes doesn't make sense either, especially when we know from last year that they, that they don't like let people climb the rope in the wet shoes. Instead, we're just gonna grab one of the ones from the Savo and move it forward. So we're doing some worm and some big bump. What are these things? These, this is a brand called Frog Grips. They're a, uh, they're a brand from Perth in Western Australia, back home. Um, they're really good. Taking, taking Australia by storm with their grips and uh, seeing quite a few international, like American athletes using them too. Um, they're like, just like a really, really good quality. They're like, they're like yeah, the next, the next big grip brand, I reckon. Really good for wearing during a workout. Just give you a little bit of compression, but don't really like make your leg, like don't, don't squeeze your calf like a normal yeah. knee sleeve, would you? Yeah, they're a great company. We're uh, working with them this year for the games and uh, very impressed with them so far. X ones. They heard that like, like her all-time goat shoes, so she just wears. Let's get close yeah. up on them. Uh, so, wow. You know how it's like with your first love, you know. Yeah. First yeah. loves. So, we're gonna see how much we can get on. Honestly, 30 may not happen just because of the, si the size of it. The Are you just saying like at one point the sled's bad for the for the turf? <laughs> Don't need to bring out like tractor wheels. We must be pushing a tractor. Yeah. yeah. Scale of one to ten, where's the competitive level at? Right now, like a one. Yeah, we're just. It's a lot of uh, this, this, this kind of like the big pieces with all the moving parts and the worm and stuff. I think it's very going to be very collaborative. We're trying to figure out like we want to get the right stimulus and we just want the teams to just get, get sharper. When we do the more simple workouts like you're running, you're rope climbs, like that, that's probably when we're, when we're trying to prove ourselves to each other yeah. a little bit. back that, that was so bad when I went to the front it moved like it was empty on the pool yeah they feel like a game to work out oh yeah all we're missing is the sun beating down on us that was I think that was better than it would have been if we were at the front I reckon at the back oh, was the back. Thought, how was the half and half that was good it was just yeah. I love half and half my sled push I like, like I like my coffee half and half I can't even bring myself to do it no 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 I'm gonna wait we gotta warm up first. I can't even bring myself to do it, eh? 
I just felt the overwhelming gravitational force of that yoke and I was like, no. When they're finished, we'll like strip it back and actually warm up properly instead of blowing my kneecaps out. Yeah. I like this sled push better. There was a train with Rich or something and it was like, you had to push a plate along the, the turf. Rich had everyone pushing a, a 45 pl plate. I did it, it is so bad. Yeah. It is so bad. It's like the most underused piece of gear in anyone's gym ever will be the low push handles on a Prala. Guaranteed no one ever uses that crap. Yeah, we have one over It's suicide, man. It's suicide. We should do a vertical worm carry. Vertical worm carry? Yeah, we all just hug a piece of the worm <laughs> and carry. <laughs> like we're about how women don't have to compliment each other. It's like, I like your outfit. You're so brave to be wearing that outfit in public. Oh, thanks. And your legs, they're just so, you look so strong. Your legs are so thick with strength. Oh, thanks. And it cuts the two dudes. I like your tie. Thanks, man. Yeah. Men, we know how to be friends. Greg <laughs> has all I can remember um, every movie. Or like any clip that he watches. Have they everything. called the rich phoning of movie quotes? He called himself. Yeah. No, I didn't think there was someone who knew quite more quotes than me until Rich. Really? And Rich will drop all these American movie quotes. He looks at me and I'm like, I don't know that movie. A lunch break. Sam's off to um to work. So lunch break, have a coffee, chill out for a bit in the aircon, and then about 3:30 we'll come in for session two. Which, look, God willing, it's stopped raining. We can get outside and actually do it like proper run. And then there's like a skills relay. Which for, I think I think for some of us it'll just be like practicing skills, touching. It won't really be a workout per se. So that'll just be a bit more of a fun one. That'll be a bit more like of a, of a collaborative workout again, where we're like the two teams trying to like. And give each other some tips and work some stuff out. Mum's cooked us the lunch. Yeah, so, I actually think my legs are sore from pickleball yesterday. <laughs> we played. We've been playing for hours. Yeah. It's come up and whoop. Like, I got like two different like scores. And I felt like I was just running from one end. One of, our, one of our mates back home was trying to tell me about it like a year ago. He's like, this new sport, pickle boy, go check it out. And he was like, he's like, I'm not even kidding. I think I'm going to go pro. He's like, I'm frothing this game. And I, I'm, after like two days of playing it, I'm like, right. I know exactly what he's talking about. I'm like, I need to play this game full time. Like, yeah. I could do it. I could, I could play this game. Is this the poly sauce, this stuff? The poly sauce? Yeah, poly sauce. Is it good? Mm. It's sweet, it's sweet and sour, so not, it's not a professional job here, but this will, this will get it done. I'm like a cereal. Solid and prey, boys. Cap, cap and crunch, or cinnamon toast? Crunch. Definitely. Not even a, thank you. It's it is not even a question. Cap and toast crunch yeah, yeah. is the best cereal. I always like, get a couple extra boxes to take home, because we can't get it back home. Well, you can, but like you got to really look for it, and it's like $15 a box. It's ridiculous. This is about $2 American. <laughs> Let me count this. I know, I know. Show me cards. Hey, show me that. What do I do with this? <laughs> Good start. Thank you. Strong start. <laughs> okay. Oh, pretty. Does that savage. block me? But uh, yeah, I'm skimpy, but now it's back to you. The hat trick. That, that, I pick the color. I get to pick the color. Oh, you pick the color. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see you here, folks. Yeah. Did I win? Yeah, you did. I'm good at this game. <laughs> 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 I always, I find this is the one game where truly beginner's luck matters. Like everyone always seems to, when they first start, like what does this card do? They just win the game. It's a warm up game. I want to retire with my, with my record. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ever played Digimon? Ooh, retired. Turning. How did he get rid of all those cards? Look at it. How is this? He's what, been stacking them. What am I seeing? Yeah, he's been putting that at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Where are those cards? They're in your pants yeah. somewhere. 
this, this, this is real thing. Yeah. You can't have pizza in America. It's not, not good. Really? I'm sorry what? to say, I'm sorry to just your boys, but no, it's, not, it's not good here. Why is it? It's just way greasier. Okay. Yeah. Like way greasier though, Yeah. They get pizza. I think it's Papa John's. It's, it's pretty good, pretty close to Australia. We've had some other places where it's like, just, yeah, you know, average. Average. On, average. on the average. Yeah. There's some really good coffee here. Like Buffalo is really good. Buffalo is really like, good. Like all the guys, like, you know, Chris and Watkins, like yeah. they care so much and make it so good. Pulse is good too. Pulse is quite good. Versus like in Australia, like on average, the coffee quality is better and like anywhere you go, you'll- You can go to like a, like McDonald's in Australia does great coffee. Like we can like do, yeah. seriously. Mm. I can't do biscuits and gravy for breakfast either. I've discovered it's, it's nice, cool. but it's not breakfast. It's like, oh it's man. So good. They're like, here's your gravy. <laughs> Push. I'm like, oh man. I'm like, I'm already like full ass from everything else. It was like steak and eggs and brought it like, they brought, my, they brought it my bucket like, of gravy. Like, like yeah. lamb, like roast lamb and gravy. And we're like, biscuits and gravy? Yeah. What, oh, what are they gonna say? Because <laughs> she's a Kiwi. We were, we were on the first night here, we went to Waffle House because it was like 2 a.m. We had like, we'd come from the airport, we we're like so hungry. And, we're, and she's like, Do you want um, hash brown or grits? And Molly's like, What are grits? And the waitress is like, it, It's grits. Like, it's like yeah. asking someone, What's a potato? You'd be like, How do you explain what it is without using it in a sentence? Yeah. She's, she's like, Had nothing for her. She's like, I don't know. It's like, um, it's grits. <laughs> Did she get the grits or not? Yeah, she got it. She wrote my gravy and I'm like, I'm like, excuse me, what is this? <laughs> She's like, that's your gravy. I'm like, oh, because no. gravy back home is very different. Yeah. <laughs> Say what? That's the best. I said, this is very much, this is very rings true of a game simulation because we're only halfway through the day and I'm over it already. I'm done. I'll go through day one of a four day simulation. Yeah. Let's go home, guys. This, so is... this is the Coliseum now. Yeah, we're going to the Coliseum. <laughs>you guys should go. <laughs> yeah, but it's only one time, only one time. And you're gonna be a better deadlift today. Rich wants us to run outside. Yeah, probably good Oh, we're gonna go straight to this? Probably do this. And then go down to this. We're gonna be doing up a, lot, a lot of upper body pulling tomorrow. It's just the way it is now. Yeah. Like we're gonna have to do chest to bar and yeah, that's cool. pegboard and- Often the game is not, is not balanced. Like they might make you do BS a couple times in a row. Yeah, like it's not. Poor Andrew. Anyway, what are we really doing today? <laughs> so me and Critty are going to go here. Murph, the only, the only difference in this workout is who gets a little bit longer rest. Which is going to be you. Which will be us as second pair. Yeah. It's so BS. Imagine if I, if everyone had to snatch to my snatch width though. Yeah. Oh, but it hits my head when I snatch. Too bad. That's the standard. It's objective. It's an objective yeah, you standard. Put your hands here. Yeah. You can't have your hands inside the, like, the line. But I can't reach it, but too bad. Too bad. You should have been, should have been born taller. I like that. You, you That's really me with the line. Hold your hands here. What the f Yeah. <laughs> Handstand push up. Such a dumb movement. Anyway. Yeah, it is. But I told you. Sherry barbell deadlift. Yeah, it pops up a lot. Pops up a lot throughout the years. I think I think it probably come up. Three, two, one, go. On uh, pair A. So I'm gonna do 60 GHD synchro and 12 wall walk synchro. When they finish, they tag off to pair B. We'll do 60 GHD GHD synchro, 12 wall walk synchro. Then partner A, pair A, will go back, uh, will tag back in and do three rounds. 40 cows shared on the echo bike, 20 strict handstand push up synchro, and 10 partner deadlifts. When they finish all three rounds, pair B will do three rounds, and that's total team time at the end.
felt like a deadlift. It felt like I was picking up a farmer's carry forever. My hand is opening me up. Yeah. Hands on the skinny of the shiny part of the bar. I was like, we get to the top and I'd be like, yeah. like re gripping the bar. One arm deadlift. Like, we just got 10 yet. And I was like, might I go first? Like, on that bike, I'm passing out. I'm throwing up and shitting my pants. And then the handstands held on way better than I thought they would. We had such a long rest though, you know? We're sitting there and they finished and we're high fiving them. And Sam goes, that's our best um, handstand pair. A real dry voice. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, huh? And he's like, I'm just kidding. And I, was, and I was like, I was like, well, I said, this is our best handstand pair. I said, but watch this. He goes, I'm, I'm going to go make these handstands look better than Swanee. Not because I'm better, because I've been rested for 10 minutes. And that poor bastard had two and a half minutes rest. Yeah. Yeah, he was very. That outside. insult to injury almost broke my ankle, like tagging in too. There was like a stick there, and I ran. Like, you roll over. That was a good day. I'm glad you guys went on broke on the deadlifts. I was like, once, yeah. once you go on a rhythm, it's like, don't put it down. Don't put it down. What we're gonna do is we'll go first from our team at zero to do this, and then we'll obviously have our own ropes. We'll get both handstand walk obstacles out. So we'll send a guy at zero, you send a guy at 130. I was gonna force it to be unbroken. They'll sit into the P-bar. I think force that to be unbroken. Everyone has their own rope. The cap's gonna be three minutes. I think that's gonna be appropriate in the first round. Everyone's gonna finish that. And then we just, and then every 90 seconds every you roll someone through, through, and it's a three minute cap. So it's essentially, yeah, it's yeah, more of a skill piece. piece. What prompted your decision to go team with these guys? Um, Lots, there's lots of factors, but I guess it all just really boils down to a feeling. It's just, you know, you kind of, kind of can feel what you want or what you will give the most enjoyment, get the best performance out of you as an athlete. Um, I went individual last year because I felt like I should after 21, after it was a good, good season. I felt like I owed to myself to like chase that down again. But a small part of me like, was thinking I should, you know, it'd be more fun to go team. But I, I kind of, I, not that I would did an individual for the wrong reasons, but I just feel like I was maybe trying to force something that wasn't there. Uh, I don't regret it at all, but I kind of decided after I didn't make it that like, okay, I'm gonna definitely like scratch this itch and go team again. Because I hadn't been on a, on a good team since like 19 and 20, I was on a really good teams with Chase, but we, when we qualified, but we never got to go. And that was like, you know, like a sneeze that doesn't come kind of thing. It just, it doesn't sit right. And then I went back individual because, uh, purely in 21 because, you had to be at the affiliate again. So I was, couldn't get over here, couldn't be on the team with any of the, any of the Mayhem guys. So I was like, screw it, let's go individuals, way easier. And then, as I said, I had a good season, but it just, it just, I needed to get back to the games and be on a really good, like a competitive team that I felt was gonna go there to like really, to play. Um, and Christy was on a team that year and um, she was really enjoying it. We were training together a ton. She would like do a team session at, at her gym and then, and then she lived near me. She'd come home and we'd do a PM session in the barn in, in my shed. And so we were um, yeah, training together a ton and we just like, we gotta go team next year, hey, we're gonna like. And then Swanee has been around forever and he was like thinking about retiring, but kind of wanted to come back if it was something like a team that's more manageable to, to work with, um, with family stuff. And then Marnie is like, like the most successful oceanic team female like in, in the whole region um two back-to-back -back six, sixth place finishes of the game so we just all naturally felt like okay we've got this this super team um we can we can go and do some damage so it just yeah it was like basically scratching that itch that that was left very unsatisfied in 2020. he'll it, get it first go ready watch this idea I think I think it's just people think of the natural next evolution I swear if my memory serves 2017 invitational they had a slalom course and with the slalom you you actually turn around the obstacle so you're oh, always walking that. forward oh, yeah. but they had one where you came up and they had drawn like a lane like this and it was a straight line and then the lane kept going and it was a sidewalk but the only standard was you had to be still facing the right way. I couldn't turn and then turn, right? You had to be sideways. 
but they had literally like two, three, maybe even four feet to muck around in to get sideways. Done, I, I'm pretty sure. But the, but the standard was just, hey, if you're facing the finish line, it's a sidewalk. Five feet across, 10 feet back, and just have a little square in, in, in the inside. Or, you know, you go out eight feet, you have two feet of width to go sideways, you come back eight feet, you have two feet of width or whatever, you know. I guess that makes six with two two foots. Well, yeah, oh, I can't believe it's 7 p.m. already. It's so crazy here, like, I guess because like, I mean, Tennessee has mountains, obviously, but what the sun sets over like flatter, like, there's no mountains on the west, is that right? Like, it feels like the sun just yes. is up for, forever. Yeah. And um, like, it's 7 p.m., like back home, I mean, it's winter, obviously, but back home, it's dark by like 5.30, because there's a ton of mountains, like just west of Brisbane, so the sun dips down really low, really early. So we're just so wigged out by the sun being up, we'll be like, oh yeah, it's like, what, four or 5 p.m.? It's like, oh man, it's like 7 p.m. So I guess it's pretty much time for dinner. This is the non-glamorous stuff that pays the bills, Ben. That's right. That's all they want to do. Fat and they're just like, oh, what? Yeah. No, it's 7 p.m. So we'll get some dinner. We're having an early night tonight because we've just been beaten to the ground and then we'll get after it tomorrow. Chick-fil-A, let's go. Probably, it's in my probably top three things I like about America. That's Chick-fil-A. the four pound chicken strips in a meal. Hey, howdy y'all. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. I did, I did it out there. Did you hear it? Yeah. So good. The best accent impression of all time is Chase Hill trying to do an Aussie accent. And I'm not exaggerating, this is what he sounds like. Hello, Roycey. <laughs> <laughs> English. What is that, Chase? <laughs> <laughs> Even the accent? Yeah. That was Luke Parker trying to do an Australian accent. Luke, uh, just going to show me the video of it. It's so good. Later that day, like 1 p.m. I think it is, is the opening ceremonies. Do you have to wear a white jacket? Oh, yeah. It's like um, some kind of, like a, it's hard to see from the graphic without zooming in. It was like a white, maybe an off-white-ish, possibly like a camo-ish like top. A light color top, <coughs> black shorts or black joggers. 18, it was mandatory because it had the flag on the back. We're out just sweating like in the so North warm. Park with this jumper on. It was so bad. When we walked in, I, there's a big Australian like Australian like mural, the yeah. like a, the, the country, and I was just when I was like, there it is, oh glory! And there's like there's like a family eating below it. They're just like this, because we're like pointing, and they're like taking the piss. And then we just get walking. <laughs> What they, oh, at Outback, the funniest thing, looking at the menu, at all like just a random BS they're claiming. Like one of them is this Toowoomba salmon. Toowoomba is like this landlocked, up in the ranges like town. It's like, you don't even have access to water up there. There's no salmon from Toowoomba. Yeah, it's so good. It'd be like, it'd be like saying Cookville shrimp or something. You'd be like, what? But they just slapping a, slap a good old Aussie name on, on front of the meal. If you ever go there, don't get the Toowoomba salmon. Don't get the Toowoomba salmon. <laughs> it's imported from Cookville. You don't want it. It's not fresh. It's definitely not fresh. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not fresh. <laughs> it's it's the, the golden corral of, of salmon. <laughs> Guaranteed it'll be the worst salmon of your life. HOA, HOA, yeah. Home Owners Association. Yeah. It's like a union that people form on a street and they can just tell you what you can and can't do with your, with your, with your property. To, well, you have to pay for them. You have to pay for them. Sure. Imagine like body corporate for just a, for just a street but they actually can make up rules at the at meetings or like vote on issues and be like, oh, we're voting no Christmas decorations allowed this year. And if you hang Christmas decorations, they'll fine you. They have the like right to fine you. Literally when I got here, they're like, oh, you're sleeping at the cupboard. And I'm like, yeah, fuck off, where am I sleeping? And he's like, hey, yeah, the door and there's, there's my bed. Just in the cupboard, the full Harry Potter vibes. Where'd you guys get that mattress at? Hey, oh, probably, on the, probably on the street. No, okay, let's there. leave here at 8.30. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know what? 5.30. I think we should go at 5.30. Yeah, yeah. We get to Rich's at 6.30 so we can play three hours, three hours yeah. of pickleball and then we'll 9.30 start. And in fact, we're, we're already late. Get in the car. Let's go. <laughs> get back in the car. Really? That's our routine. Normally, maybe like a one more bowl of cereal or something like get some more calories in. Pretty much just shower in bed. Typically around this time, I'll FaceTime back home to the family. Cause it's only, yeah, it's like almost 
lunchtime, like 12 p.m. back home. It's a good time to FaceTime the kids and, and Laurie before you go to bed. <clears throat> and then uh, that's it. Off to bed and do it again tomorrow. It's like comes and goes how how tough it is. Like when I'm like training, distracted, like in the in the zone, it's like fine. And then like at night, it's hard because you're like you know you go to bed essentially alone. I mean, I've got the two guys here, but I'm essentially alone and like you're so used to just being in the house with kids and. It'll be like such silly things, like I'm watching a movie and like, like even something as dumb as Anchorman 2 and he's like with this kid, like all the piss take scenes with this kid. But that night you get like emotional because you're like, oh man, like miss the kids. So yeah, it comes and goes. It is it is hard. Like I guess I just don't think about the time. You just take a day, a day at a time. But like it's when you get back home that like the enormity of how long you've been away hits you and it's like, yeah. I always think like I can't, I can't imagine how like the service men and women do like nine month tours. Mm -hmm. That's just insane. Like I can't, yeah, can't comprehend that. A month is about my limit. Like, other than that, if it was longer than that, I almost wouldn't do it. You said Chick Fil A was was one of the three best things in America. Yeah, I wanna, I'm curious what the other two is. Uh, they were probably boring. So one, one would just be the people, like all the friends and stuff here. Um, yeah, two is Chick Fil A, and three, I don't know. It's kind of intangible. I guess it's just like feels like I mean, particularly Cookville um, feels like. Obviously it doesn't feel like home, but it also feels a lot like home. It's like a really, it's like that feeling of being a stranger, like in a strange place and yet so familiar and like at home. So it's just like, just awesome to be back. It's just a good, you just feel it, like I said, feel at home when I'm driving into Cookville. Um, it's not like that everywhere, obviously, like as different parts of America are, are different. <clears throat> kind of we base, I base the trip over here around the games and you just never know if you'll make it back. You know, I'll never forget in 2020, like, Gabe chased a big high five and a hug and I was like, see you in a couple of weeks, man. Like, you know, we're so excited, but like a few more weeks, I'll come over, we'll hit some good training, then the games and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and it was like, <clears throat> maybe a week after they left that COVID shut down the world. Didn't see him again for like two years. Yeah. yeah, you just never know when it's the last time you'll be around the people here, which is like a shame, because it's hard to have friends on the other side of the world, but, um, yeah, it's like savor every every chance I get to come over here for sure. Well guys, that was the full day in the life of uh, me training here in Cookville for the games. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in Madison.